and it it it, it means that um, the form that um, uh, 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 to to give a semantics to equip a formal system with meaning with semantics uh, means to to give first a a, 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 a family of uh, of uh, well formed formulas of the formal system uh, denoted by a lambda. Lambda is just a par arbitrary parameter. Uh, uh, so this is a parameter parameterized uh, family uh, of well-formed formulas in L. And assume that we would like to uh, have a theory describing a certain realm, or uh, I mean a certain part of, let's assume uh, uh, immediately that this is a part of physical reality. Uh, so um, uh, uh, this this one here, the small a lambda, is a family of state of affairs in the physical world, uh, and the parameterization have, uh, is the is sim uh, so it's parameterized by the same parameter, which uh, means that uh, this parameterization provides or determines a pairing between the state, state of affairs and the, the linguistic objects, okay? I mean, here. Now, so this is, this is the first thing we must uh, fix. And then, these two families and the pairing between the elements of the two fam families are such, must be such, that for all such pairs, for all lambdas, for all such, that is, for all such pairs, uh, the following must be satisfied. So if the corresponding for a given lambda, the corresponding small a lambda denotes a state of affairs which is indeed the case in U, then the corresponding capital A lambda must be a well-formed formula of the formal system such that it is a theorem of the formal system. Okay? If small a lambda denotes a state of affairs which is not the case in U, then the negation of capital A lambda must be a theorem, okay? So imagine a theory like electrodynamics in a, a nice axiomatized form, yeah? So, and, and when we say that a certain sentence of this theory describes a certain state of affairs I can observe in the laboratory, for instance, and if this state of affairs is there indeed, observable, for instance. I don't necessarily uh, assume here that, that all these uh, state of affairs are observable, but, uh, but just to, uh, for the sake of uh, explanation, I say. Um, then um, the corresponding sentence uh, must be a, a, a theorem. It must be stated by the theory. Yeah? Uh, something is stated by electrodynamics if I can derive uh, this statement from the axioms of electrodynamics, yeah? Right? Uh, and um, if the negation can be derived, the corresponding state of affairs is, is not the case in you. So the requirement is that if it, a lambda is the case, then the corresponding Welfon formula must be a theorem. If it's not the case, then the negation must be a theorem. Okay, so this is the, the very definition of a semantics in my understanding, but uh, this is actually what uh, Gödel uh, 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 suggests uh, 
although not so uh, uh, rather implicitly suggests in his uh, construction. And uh, in some sense, this kind of, uh, this, uh, you know, conception of meaning, carrying, representation, uh, saying about, uh, uh, you know, aboutness in, uh, in, in the sense of intentionality or intentionality in the sense of uh, aboutness and so on so forth. So all these um, notions we perhaps we uh, would like to differentiate in in uh, in uh, language in philosophy of language for instance or in philosophy in general you know uh, i intentionally i do not want to make distinction between these things so i i I would like to say that there is no difference between reference, between sense, uh, you know, in this Freudian uh, sense uh, distinction. I don't want to say uh, uh, that there is a, a different conception of intentionality and so on and so forth. So I intentionally take all these otherwise differentiated things uh, together and I would like to say that there is nothing beyond this kind of meaning carrying. Can, can I ask quickly? Hi. Are these, um, uh, are both of these B statements? Uh, um, could you speak up or uh, because I can't hear you? Of course. Um, are both of these statements on the second point one way if then isms or if um, a lambda oh, is you know, because of, the, of the obvious reason that uh, you know um, uh, from the, uh, the, the from the negation of the, of this one does not follow the second one so i mean uh, because of the, of the first incompleteness theorem you know so it's not necessarily true that if there is no uh, proof for a, a lambda, uh, it does not follow that there exists a proof for uh, the negation. You know? Yeah, but I more mean if there is an a lambda that is deducible, <laughs> um, that is deducible from the axioms of sigma, must that then... Um, imply that there is a, a real state of affairs that matches said sentence. If the, I'm, I'm sorry. No. Because this, this statement is if there is a, a small a lambda in this real state of affairs in our real yes. world, then there is a corresponding sentence that is deducible from the axioms mm -hmm. of a certain formal system. But is the converse true? Probably not. Well, uh, look. Then it depends on the theory. No, no, no. Let, wait, wait. The in the first point, so uh, it, it is out of question that uh, th there exists uh, such a capital A lambda belonging to the small a lambda or not. We have a, a, a huge family of capital A lambdas, linguistic uh, things, and a, a, a huge family of state of affairs and a corresponding pairing. This second requires that this two families must be such and the pairing must be such that once or uh, when, when, if uh, uh, a certain state of affairs is indeed the case in the, the, the described reality, then the corresponding capital A lambda, which is already exists, and of course is already assigned with the parametrization to uh, such a state of affairs, um, must be such that it is a theorem. And if the a corresponding cap, uh, small a lambda is not the case in U, then, uh, you know, the small a lambda 
corresponds here a capital A lambda in this pairing. And that capital A lambda must be such that the negation is a theorem. Okay? Yeah, but... And practically, this means, and if and only if, uh, except this Gödelian uh, stuff, but it doesn't actually mean too much, you know, because, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, of course we, uh, we are not, uh, uh, we don't want to, so it doesn't mean too much because uh, certainly we, uh, uh, here we, we, we cannot and don't want and cannot actually involve as you recognized in uh, the good of course. Uh, 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 we we cannot involve uh, a good alien uh, a good sentence type stuff here just due due to the fact that uh, neither uh, the good sentence nor the, the uh, its negation is a theorem so this is just a delicate um, just to avoid this kind of problem, uh, it is formulated in this way, but it doesn't mean too much. Uh, nothing happens if you consider it uh, as an if and only if. Okay, awesome, yes. thank you. Okay. So, so this is the definition of semantics. And uh, this is a crucial point of my, of, 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 the, of the whole, course yeah because everything uh, I would like to talk about in the next I don't know two, two and a half um, two and a third I don't know uh, lectures um, um, is based on this definition and immediately I would like to begin to list or to discuss all the things, not all the things, but the most important, just to, to mention, I would like to mention here, uh, the most important things we can read off from this uh, construal of semantics. Okay. 